Hi, in this video I'm gonna talk a little about a macro command that is fairly advanced and fairly difficult to understand, hence this video. Um, so there's lots of commands in the macro set, close, click and so on, and many of them, of them are fairly simple to understand. But there's one command called pop form stack. And uh, what this is about, that is what we're going to into theories here. And we also will have a few sample videos on how to use it in real life. But this is a pure theory. We won't go into business one. But instead, we will go to the next slide where we have a macro that is about to be presented here. And we have our form stack. So the form stack is what forms do the macro have in its view that it can manipulate. Uh, and there can be two forms at the same time all the time, which is current form, so the form you're on right now, uh, form, screen, whatever we call them, and the parent form, the one that, uh, that opened up another screen uh, in some capacity that could, for example, be whenever we uh, go to the sales order and press golden arrow to get to the freight, the freight uh, screen would then be the current form and the parent form would be uh, the sales order. So let's have a look at what is going on. So you can see I've just, as a legend down here, put in current form is green, parent form is uh, purple in the form stack. Um, so let's see the first thing, whenever a macro starts, the screen we are on when the macro start will automatically become the first original screen and it will also become the, the current form. So we could just stay on that form, do set commands uh, and click commands around it and not have any other screens involved. But if we have another screen involved, we end up opening it using an activate, either using some uh, some clicks on things and then telling the system via the activate command that is on the new screen or the activate could be of a menu item that opened a new screen that could for example be uh, the sales order or the business partner. So once we do an activate what happens is that the second screen will become the current form and the uh, first original screen will become the parent form. And whenever you now do a set command or a click command or a focus command, it will always go against the second screen because that is what the form stacks are pointing to as the current form. The parent form can be manipulated in forms of, if you have a transfer command, it will always go from the parent form to the current form. So we had you open the screen and you say a transfer it will go from the gray box to the orange box. Or you can have a transfer back, uh, which means that you take something from the orange box and send it to the gray box. So this is fairly normal macro so far, um, but then we open a new screen. We can have that from our orange screen, we open a blue screen. And what happens now is that now the blue one is the current form and the orange one is the parent form. The gray form you can't really get to right now. Behind the scenes we still keep it uh, as a reference but that is only in the back end of the code. You would not be able right now for example to be able to say I want to send something from the blue screen to the gray screen. There's the store commands in order to do something about this, but in any way, you would never really be able to come back to the first original screen unless we had the keyword pop form stack. Because as I mentioned, we keep the gray screen around despite us not be giving you any commands to, to touch it right now. And that is when we then call the pop form stack. So 
if we do pop form stack, what will essentially happen is we throw away the third screen because that is what we're doing. We are, we are getting rid of the top of the stack. So in coding terms, that is popping it uh, or pushing it. So activate is essentially a push and, uh, and pop form stack means getting rid of it. And if we look again, what happened was the parent form now came back to the gray screen while the current form be became the second screen. So now we could have gathered some information from the third screen, put it in a store value, and now we are back to the original screens. So now the, the orange box is again hit by set commands and stuff. Uh, while we could begin to do more transfers again, again from the uh, the gray screen to the orange screen. So some screens might pop up like this, where you need to get rid of them, uh, do some value, put in a value and so on, and then need to continue on. And that's where the pop form stack comes in. And again, uh, in future videos, we'll show some, some samples of that. And if we did a pop form stack again right now, we would end up essentially being back at the original part of the macro and you could sit and put various uh, values into the first original screen now. There wouldn't be any transfer because there is no prior and if we call pop form stack again it wouldn't essentially do anything because there is no uh, uh, thing to, to pop. We don't empty the entire uh, form stack as such. This is highly theoretical, of course, but I hope you, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it's probably not for you anyway. Um, but we, again, we will make some examples uh, so you can see it in action uh, using some text lines and some multi-targets. So see you in that videos.